Okay, Tommy, your box has arrived, so we're going to get you unpacked and have a look. Right. Well, what lies beneath? I think the astute among you may know. So this looks like a 6.39 yellow dial code. Very nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a beauty. And this should be a Kakume. Indeed it is. All right, wow, these are great. Two lovely, lovely pieces here. Okay, so who's first? Hmm, that's a tough one. Look at the colors of Seiko. Isn't that cool? So neat. Uh, let's do the Kakume first. Speed timer. Okay. Well. Very cool. Let's get you centered up here. All right, so we have a very original looking. Yeah, on its band. Very nice. With some give in the extender. So it's a 78, January 78. It's a 19, yeah, this is a, uh, right, so later, later model. Um, that looks good. 6138-0031. Speed timer. Okay, well let's dig in a little bit. Let's get some power into the movement. Let's take it away from the date changeover. It's running. That's always a plus. Let's, uh, let's see how the reset looks. Definitely let it get close here. Very nice. Okay. Um, crowns in. Good. Very good. This has a, it's a JDM version. It's all paint and no loom, which is so cool. You don't see very many JDMs um, like this. It's got its original bracelet with an extender. It's kind of fun. I like that. Um, really nice. Original bracelet. Wow. So cool. Yeah, it's got its right marks on it. Okay, um, well, let's check condition. Let's see how it's running. We'll put some power in. Definitely need some new seals. It's really loose on your stem. So. Okay. It's a little iffy. Hold on one second. Okay, so the numbers aren't perfect. Uh, you've got a lot of a lot of noise, a lot of sprinkle in your in your signal. Um, and certainly, a watch that needs to be serviced uh, for sure. So, um, you know, hopefully, this is just an issue with uh, lubrication and not not issues with hair springs and whatnot. But it's it's okay. You know, it's a it's a signal that could be better, but also could be worse. Um, but we will we will dig in. It's sort of cleaning itself up a bit. Um, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to dig in and, and look very closely at this one. Uh, but overall, cosmetically the watch is, is quite beautiful. Alright, give me one second over. Okay, okay, we're back. Um, yeah, so um, we'll we'll get this one going. It looks like you know you've got a perfect crystal. This looks really good. Um, I'm not sure that's the original, but it doesn't really matter so much. It looks so good. It's, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be. We'll get everything 
really cleaned up and looking right. Um, got a little bit of haze on your hands, but it's nothing of any real substance. Dial looks great. Um, you know, case back has a couple little nicks here. This is just a little scratch on the side. Um, otherwise, you know, the case lines are good. You got some, some, uh, you know, minor marring here on the side uh, from wear, I guess. But you know, it's a 1978 watch. It's not like it was made yesterday. These are, these are old, and they've been worn, and you know, they get worn, so they get used. But the brushing on top is really nice. Um, case lines are pretty much perfect. I mean, you can't ask for better. Um, all right, so I'm excited about the Kakume. A. Looks really good. Let's move on to your Pogue, or your no text Pogue. So again, a really pretty watch. Um, hands look correct. Dial looks correct. Insert is bright. Your tacky ring insert is also good. Your turning ring is also very, very good. Super nice here. Um, your, your pusher here is stuck, so we'll have to think about that in a moment. Um, this is a, let's see, 19, oh, that's cool. This is a me watch. This is a 873, so that's, that's me. I'm an 873, perfect, how nice. Uh, 8574FR. Not sure who FR was, but um, those aren't your initials. <laughs> so I'm assuming that was somebody else's. Um, but everything looks really good cosmetically. It's really nice and bright. Dial and hands look correct. Um, I can't really do any resetting yet. So let's go ahead. It's got its original bracelet, FR, of course, on the back. Um, you know, these, these, um, Seiko bracelets are, are nice. They're a little jangly for some. Man, F Romeo Romero, 8574. He really liked his watch and wanted to keep it all together. So I applaud him for that. Certainly made it his, Mr. Romero. All right, so let's take a look inside the watch. See if we can get the case back off without too much trouble. It's going to be a little tight, I have a feeling. All right. Well, let me get this on the machine, and we'll we'll get it taken off. Give me one. Okay, we're back. All right, so let's take a look together. Let's see where... What the history of this watch looks like. Hmm. Not much. Got a case back seal. It's a little stiff. Not terrible, but stiff nonetheless. I don't see any servicing marks in the back. Very clean movement though. This looks nice. Se Seiko Time Corp unadjusted. That's correct. That looks good. Nice looking watch. Very nice, in fact. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and put a little power in. It's a little bit harder with the 6139s to power up the watch where the 6138s have have a um, you know have a winding hand winding all right let's put the case back, back on oh while we're in here let's um let's release your very stiff pusher There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we can turn the chronograph on and off as we like. Don't worry about doing any resets. Get in there, case back seal. Okay. There we go. Okay. Let's take a look. Let's see how it's doing. All right, give me one minute. Okay, Tommy. So uh, in terms of signal, this one's a lot cleaner. Uh, certainly 
we have some room uh, in the amplitude range and also with adjustments to get to get things better. Um, you yeah, know, this is this is where a watch that needs to be serviced but is you know running quite well is normally going to sit somewhere between 150 and 200. Um, and you know, the other things, the rate and the beat error, those are those are just adjustments that come after service. But the amplitude is a thing, of course, we like to we like to make sure is uh, is where we want it. So this is you know. This is a range uh, somewhere, you know, between 220 to 250, maybe even, you know, a little bit higher in that range is where we want to be uh, with service. You know, it just says that, you know, there's, there's minimal resistance in the train of wheels, and that then leads to, you know, better performance, better longevity of the movement, things like that. Um, so we'll, we'll get there. Um, that's always the hope, but these are again two beautiful watches that um, we're gonna get started into once once I hear back from you, and I'm gonna get you serviced and get you ready to go. Um, the two great great watches from the 70s. What a great pair! Really fun. I love it. I'm kind of wearing the hybrid of the two at the moment. Blue version of the Pogue. Anyway, still, you know, these are these are two great, great watches, and I'm excited to get started on them. So thanks again, and thanks for watching, and I'll be in touch. Okay.